Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I prep my peppers that we get from the food bank so they don't go bad. Uh, first thing you need is a good freezer bag. I just get Walmart brand because it's inexpensive but it's good quality. And you'll want to label it before you do anything so that you'll remember what. Obviously I'll be able to see it's peppers but you can date when you did it. So I'm going to go ahead and date All that. Right. Once you got that labeled then you just set it aside. You want a good cutting surface and a sharp knife to cut with, and then let's get these peppers open. Okay, I'm going to do all the green peppers, and then one each of these colors, I'm going to slice for fajitas, because we love fajitas. But first, I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends off, and then get them rinsed, so that they're ready to slice. You don't necessarily need a strainer, it's just easier for me. I slice the top off, I'm going to pull this part out throw this away and pull the seeds out and then I just drop it in here and I'll rinse them all off together. So I just put my knife in like that, go around the edge, pull off this top part, pull this out, throw this away, then just pick that little bit out that's in there, and then I'll rinse that. Just kind of tap the seeds out. We'll just get all these done and ready to rinse. All right, I've got them all washed and ready to slice up. Um, I went ahead and got them all ready, even though I'm not slicing them all. So for the fajita ones, what I like to do to make it quicker is I fold my bag down and it kind of creates like a little, almost like a little stand and then it will just kind of stand up by itself, kind of. <laughs> and then, I can just slice them and dice them and put them in there really for quickly. Fajitas, I just cut them in strips about like so. We'll just drop them in there. Um, this is not something I enjoy doing. I love eating fajitas, but I don't like the prep work that goes into it. So I don't like to do it right when I'm going to have fajitas. That's why I get these peppers. And then... Um, and I like to kind of layer them in there, so when they freeze, they're kind of mixed together. Um, I do them all at once, and then when we want fajitas, I can just open the freezer, grab out the bag, and dump it in the crock pot. Because I love crock pot. It's super easy. If you haven't made fajitas in the crock pot, you are working too hard. Let me tell you. I tried it one time, and I've never went back to making them normal. I always make them on the in the crock pot. You just throw your peppers in there, your onions, which if I had a bunch of onions right now that were going to be expiring or going bad, I would slice them as well, but I don't. So those I usually just do when I get them. When I'm making the fajitas, I'll just slice the onions and put them right in there. Or if I had gotten some today, I would slice them also. But I don't have any onions, so we're just going to work on the peppers. That's not a pepper. Have you guys ever tried fajitas in the crock pot? If so, let me know down below. Or if you have any other great recipes for peppers, let me know. I like them in eggs as well as soups. Um, but we have so many. And we made fajitas the other day. Oh my gosh, they were good. And I forgot how long it's been since... Um, We've done fajitas. It was just delicious. And so, yeah, I decided um, I'm going to take half of these and make them into fajita pieces for fajitas because that was delicious. Because I made a beef roast. Well, well, we had COVID, and Cody wanted, um, she wanted Costa Vida, the smothered beef enchiladas, but we couldn't go out because we were quarantined. So I made the, the sauce. I posted it on my Instagram, but um, anyways, I made the sauce, and we just made them here with a big beef roast, but there was so much roast, I decided I would save some of the roast, so I, after it was cooked and shredded, I froze it, and then the other day, I took it out of the freezer, and just added it to the crock pot with the peppers and onions that I had already pre-sliced like this, oh my gosh, those were the best fajitas, let me tell you. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all these sliced up, and we'll get them in the freezer for when we want fajitas. Because if we don't, all these peppers will rot. I don't know if you ever got fresh produce from a food bank, but it's usually on its last leg, which is why the stores have gotten rid of it, because nobody's buying it. 
So it sits at the food bank until somebody comes along and takes it. And you either got to eat it right then or you have to prep it like I'm doing and freeze it, which is what I'm doing. Because we're, we're, I already plan to have spaghetti tonight. We're having, um, not spaghetti. It's called, uh, it's called spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash spaghetti is what we're having tonight. Had I not already planned to have that, maybe we would do something with these peppers. But I already got the spaghetti squash cooked. I just got to put it together with sauce and meat. So I am dicing these up to freeze for later. All right, well, I'm going to get all these done and we'll be back in a minute. All right, I've got them all in there. Once I've got them completely, everything I'm going to put in, I just kind of push the air out just like that. I don't vacuum it, close it, and then I kind of spread them out so that they're as flat as they can be. Now, if you wanted, you could put it in two bags. It's kind of about that thick, but we'll probably use this all at once, and they break apart really easy. They don't stick together too bad when they're frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the freezer, and then I'm going to work on those other ones, getting them diced up. All right, so I've got my other bag labeled and ready. I'm just going to do the same thing, hold it over so that I can just dice them and toss them right into it. Got it set up. Let's get to dice. All right, so got a few in there already. I just like to kind of chop different colors at the same time so that it gets a good blend. I really, really like these diced peppers in eggs or soup or on top of pizza. I mean, there's so many uses. So we're going to hurry up and get the rest of these done. Do you guys have any great recipes that you use peppers in, these bell peppers? If so, comment below. I love trying new recipes. I love bell peppers. I love peppers and onions together, actually. They're really good in fried potatoes as well. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any other suggestions for using these peppers. I'd love to hear. Got the peppers done. I ended up with two bags. I do the same thing. I just fold it over and squish the air out. I don't vacuum it. And then I will just kind of push them down flat and put them in the freezer like this. I just freeze them flat and then when I need some, they break apart really easy. We'll use these later. Thanks so much for watching how I prepare my peppers so they don't spoil. And I can have peppers for months depending on how many I get and how many I prep. So I love this way that we put them aside for future use by slicing and dicing and freezing. And if you have any other suggestions about how I could use these peppers, please comment below and I will see you in my next video.